Welcome back into BB&T Stadium. 10.36 to play here in the first. As we get our first look at Davis Cheek, and he completes his first pass from scrimmage. 10 months to the day following his ACL reconstruction surgery. Yeah, I like Davis Cheek that time. Poised in the pocket, wasn't under stress, moves around. He's got some mobility. And, and a nice play to start the drive for Elon. Phoenix with first and 10. Play action, Cheek heaves one down the field and overthrows his receiver, Cole Taylor, in front of the Aggie bench. Cheek, quick throw, completes his pass. And that is Cortez Weeks, his favorite target by far, Stan. A&T and Elon tied at zero, 7.59 to play here in the first quarter. The handoff up the middle. Martin powers his way across the 25. Some tackles, nice effort that time. The pitch. Martin with a little move, able to gain some positive yardage. He just made nothing. Carter looking for Bell. A little bit of contact, no flag, and that will put a four in the box. Rivers at punting. Elon's got Davis, who's a solid leg. So, yeah, this could be a 7-3, 10-7 ball game. Are you any good? Could be 35-32. Never know. Cheek brings down the high step. The pressure's on. And McNair is dropped in the backfield. Being in long yard situations. Second and 14. Play action. Cheek stepping up. Throws over the middle and finds Foster, who's dropped at the 45. Nice job by Davis Cheek reading the pressure and finding some room to work. Davis Cheek filled outside pressure, steps in the pocket, climbs the pocket, and, and really just took his time and found a wide open Matt Foster. Baines. Elon working quickly with first and 10. Hand off, hand off up the middle, read very easily by that. Able to get into the NCAA playoffs, but they had a lot of injuries, but he just gives them an extra dimension. Quarterback keeper on the option. Cheek slides in just shy of the 40. Showing up. Cheek flings one to the sideline, and the pass is complete to Avery Jones. That'll be good. For a first down for Elon, and the drive is alive for the Phoenix. And one thing Davis Cheek's done a really nice job of in those two drives is getting the football out of his hands real quick. Good, sharp route that time by the outside. Has a knack for catching the football. Weeks is the motion man. Elon keeps it on the ground. Thomas stuffed. Avery Jones. Three wides at the top of the screen. Let's see if they try to run this again or hit the quick out. Cheek with the play action, completes the pass. He's got Cortez Weeks again. And that'll be good for another Elon first down. Cortez goes inside, finds area between the linebacker and the defensive back. And once again, Davis Cheeks hits him on the numbers. Play fake, Cheek unloads to the five yard line and it's hauled in by Foster. What a grab by the tight end, the senior out of Williamsville, New York. Spencer, that was an excellent throw to the outside shoulder. 35, 91.4% conversion rating, first in the CAA a year ago. The pitch to McNair, he cuts it up, still on his feet, and is finally brought down near the line of scrimmage. Second and goal up, come line two receivers to the top of the screen. The handoff. Through the middle and into the end zone. Give him six. Touchdown, Elon. Deshaun. Quarterback keeper on the option. Carter ahead for about four. Is Carter taking a lot of hits this afternoon? Khalil Carter also coming off of a major injury. Martin takes the handoff. We'll run ahead to the 25. It'll bring up third and five. Two by two set. Carter. 
Leaves it for Pride, who is able to gain the first down. And they're working quickly. Carter keeps it himself. Saw the hole ahead to the 45 and forces a pile of Phoenix to drop him. Going in here. Graves is the motion man. Baker takes the handoff. Nifty move across the 35 and down to the 31. Baker, the change of pace guy, you see inside the bounce to the outside. They go right back to him. He's to the 25 and tripped up at the 23. And the problem there for your Elon is if you put an extra man in the box, it all all times touchdown leader here at AT. He's one shy. The Aggies keep it on the ground and are into the red zone. They are doing a great job, led by Pettiford, number 73. Back to the ground attack for the Aggies, working right down the middle. As A and D will earn a first down. The Aggies, just a year ago, converted 85.7% of their trips into the red zone. It's good enough for another a and first down. First and 10 for a and You keep your eye on the matchup at the bottom of your screen. Right there. Play action. Bell has it. And it's just short of the goal line, taken down at the one. And this is why, again, it drives you crazy. High formation. Carter takes it himself. No signal yet. Looks like the initial spot is short of that goal line. It'll bring up second and goal. They're in the old, old I formation. This is power again. Carter tries again. And is stuffed that defensive front. The handoff to Martin. And on the second try, he's in. Give him six. Touchdown. A lot of things. Five minute and 39 second drive for a and t and we'll see what Jalen Thomas and the Phoenix have to respond. And right there, it was all about the Aggie defensive front shutting the door very quickly. Guys that can rush and some good defensive backs. Sam Washington likes to describe his four-man front as a vertical front. Cheek looking, flush from the pocket. Still looking downfield, throws to Foster, and that will fall to the ground, incomplete. Third down in a long time, long third situation, I should say. Third and 15. Elon goes two by two. Cheek dropping back, fires over the middle, and the pass falls incomplete after a big hit was applied. For back. He'll send Baker in motion. Looks towards the near side, completes the pass to Bell, turns up field, and is dragged out of bounds around midfield. And Stan, as you see in the middle of the time, team, this is a great time to be a college football fan. Congratulations. Happy 100th anniversary of football, college football. That run goes nowhere, and it'll bring up third and six. Carter. Keeps it himself, sees a hole, gets the first down and more, lowers his shoulder and heads to the 40. It is good enough. It's a strong run for the court. The ground game even more important for A&T today. A bunch of wide receivers out for this one. Play action, Carter rolls out, throws on the run and completes the pass down to the 11-yard line. Little RPO action, you see the, the straight receiver there, finds a secondary receiver, gets over the top there, nice pass. And again, what you've got to do if you're a wide receiver is try to run and find some daylight area. Nice pass, nice catch for North Carolina. Catches a season ago, but they expect some big things out of him this season. Carter handles the snap, gives it off to Martin, who breaks the first tackle and chugs his way to the five. Watch his right now. Second Second run the ball. Play action, the floater to the end zone, Bell goes up, 
Security, and it's in for a touchdown. Wow. Washington staff making adjustments now, running the ball, which has opened up the passing game in A&T, 14 unanswered points. And the hero in that ball game, Mac McCain, with the 100-yard interception return for a touchdown as that one falls incomplete. Not playing today, most likely will not play football for A&T. This team defensively has got some defensive momentum. Cheek, the pitch to Thomas, tries to cut it upfield, and he is stopped dead in his tracks. The hard count, got a &T to jump, it's a free play. The ball thrown behind the intended receiver, Bryson Daughtry. But it will be- Think about for another maybe 10, 15 minutes as the shadows begin to hover over the stadium. Third and six for the Phoenix. Chief drops back, pressure on, and he's dropped. Here. He'll start out under center. The handoff to Martin, around the corner, and it's tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. Shamari Winger came up and made the play. First three or four football games, because you never know. You're gonna hit your wagon on Carter, but you need to get these other guys ready as well. It's something that they did with Khalil Carter as well that positioned him to be so successful leading into this ball game as John May Martin, Martin will take that carry ahead. Eight on the play clock to work with. Keeps it himself, running out of room, and he is brought down to the ground just ahead of the line of scrimmage. 40 yards a kick on 66 attempts a season ago. There's a more. 58 in that big win against Richmond. They like to run the ball, but they've been taken out of their down and distance situations a lot. Couldn't run on first down. Now you're in the, what I think is an obvious passing situation. Cheek on the run. He'll dump it off out of bounds. No one open. Cheek working out of the gun. Asked to run. Able to break free, and the pass is complete. But it'll still be shy of the first down marker. The officials are now talking about it. T three timeouts remaining. They're trying to put more points on the board. Bell hauls in the pass and will wisely step out of bounds around midfield. You're so con Bell will line up to the bottom of the screen. Carter, the keeper. Had nothing downfield and is thrown to the grass. A yard shy of the line of scrimmage. Like me some Marcus Willoughby. We talked about the senior. One of the top sack guys. For Got on to win six of those games. Bell hauls it in. And is tackled. And third and six for a &T. Banks at the top of your screen. It's me locked in man. Carter gets rid of it quickly, and that one will fall to the ground. Income Davis Cheek with 48 seconds to work with to try and put some quick points on the board. Cheek rolls out, fires one, and it will fall incomplete. A late flag on the play as there was some contact. Less an opportunity to move the chains before the quarter ends. First and 10 from the 40. Cheek is thrown down to the ground. That a &T defensive line got there quickly. Yeah, and you get right here at the corner of and Trips to the bottom of the screen. Cheek steps up and is sacked and on back-to-back -back plays. <laughs> it was Devin Harrell, the red. It was a difficult first half for Elon. As Thomas will take the carry on the delayed handoff. And he is hit after gaining about a yard and a half. Hitch and Stuckey comes up from his cornerback. And we've talked about him a couple of times this afternoon. Comes up and makes the initial hit. Second and eight for Elon. Cheek looking downfield, pressure on, dumps it off to his outlet McNair, who races towards the sideline and is able to gain a few. Trips to the bottom of the screen. Third down, five to go for the Phoenix. Chief will roll out, shovel pass to McNair, follows his offensive line, and is brought down very close 
to that first down marker, the initial spot has Elon just short. I, I think he's about uh, uh, the, the nose of the... McNair is the single back. Takes the handoff and is able to easily gain that first down. First down, a very big play, I think, if you're an Elon fan. Keep the drive going. You want to talk about a warrior. Matt Kovaleski has started 23 straight games. He's coming off of a hip labrum. Well, that play looked like it had some daylight. Aggies are able to stop it. Second and 11. Cheek uncorks one and completes the pass. Elon on the run. It's Taylor who is finally angled out of bounds. And you and I earlier in the week that they can't take those penalties. The delayed handoff to Thomas. Breaks free from the first tackle and is brought down. Thomas the single back. Chief looking to throw. Finds Thomas, puts on a move, breaks free from the first tackle and is thrown out of bounds. Taylor in motion. McNair takes the handoff. And is unable to spin out of that tackle. I think you got to stretch set. it. Two tights. Keep your eye on Foster at the top of your screen, 49. McNair takes the handoff around the corner and into the end zone. Give him six. The handoff to Martin. Lowers his shoulder and spins down to the 29. I think what you're going to make a, t a touchdown out of something. Martin has his number called again, and this time the Elon front six with nothing doing. Cutter again. Heaves one towards the sideline and leads Corey Banks a little too far. Dale is the receiver to the top of the screen. Play action, Carter looking, throwing, and connects. Wingard and Banks are tied up on. Martin up the middle. Nowhere to go, the initial hit. Play action, the throw to Bell, and he shoved out of bounds. We already saw the impressive one-handed touchdown grab earlier today. Carter floats one to Baker down the sideline, and he is wrapped up and brought down inside the red zone. Only had one reception a season ago. Comes up with a huge play this time. Play action. The floater to Bell. Tons of contact. It'll fall incomplete. Possibly play basketball at A&T. Second and goal. Play action over the middle. Give him six. Touchdown. Clemson. They had two, they've got two touchdowns so far in this ball game between six and ten plays. Last season, on their way to 44 touchdowns from scrimmage, they had 22 of them. Half of them they had between six and ten plays. a and the offense. Really, that was a very, very impressive drive after the turnover by Elon. So now can Elon emotionally and physically bounce back? Davis Cheek will have to lead that charge. He quickly releases one to the outside and connects with Cole Taylor. He's brought down after about a gain of seven. See, I like this, being able to get the ball out of your hands quick enough. They avoid some of the A&T pressure and able to pick up some yardage. Now this makes it a lot easier as a play caller. You're in the second down and two, second and three situation. Uh, playing with long yardage situations, trips to the bottom of the screen. The handoff to Cyphers has the first down and more and is out in Elon 21 14 with 429 to play in the third quarter. The handoff and not enough room for Jalen Thomas to work his room this afternoon. Cheek, quick drop, looking, throws, and it's a little high. 
as that one will fall in some third down situation for So Elon. what do you do if you're court and you court defensive coordinator? Do you put pressure? You've had a lot of success with your four-man front, and you drop in coverage. Don't let anybody get behind you. The four-man rushes on. The throw over the middle is complete to Daltrey. It's good for the first down and more. He is finally brought down to the grass around the 30-yard line. A huge gain on third and 17. And that's what a quarterback can do when he's given time. Again, you got to love the fact that Davis Cheek is able to step up in the pocket. No happy feet. Steps in there. Throws a strike. Daughtry gets to see the linebackers behind. He's in front of that defensive back. Finds it a little easy to gap in the zone. Is able to get the first down. Nice play for Elon Daughtry and Davis, Cheek. Play action, Cheek, lofts one. And there are gonna be some spaces there, especially the way this rush has come on a &T. Here's your counter. Cyphers with a hole, and is tripped up about a yard shy of that first to the red zone again. Back to Cyphers, finds a hole, breaks free, and is into the end zone. There is a flag on Back seven. Two. Cheek throws and completes the pass. It's Cortez Weeks. And that'll be good for a first down. Cortez 14 against New Hampshire in a big win. So he's a good possession receiver. Cheek to the air again. Dumps it off. Pass complete. Kyan Howard on the tackle almost immediately as Matt Foster was the one who hauled it in. And, and Davis Cheek, some time to throw. And even though that wasn't a, a long pass of only about four or five yards, certainly he's got time. He's got a clean uniform right now. Thomas on the handoff. He's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of three on the play. <laughs> Justin. Cheek dropping back, throwing, and finds Cortez Weeks, who's into the end zone. Give him six. Cheek's pass is complete to number two, Cortez Weeks. What a route by the junior. And that just made it a third and five. And watch Reeks as the inside receiver out of the slot. Little skinny post, ball thrown away low. Only one person can make that play, and that's going to be Cortez Weeks. Simpson is the motion man. The handoff to Martin. Uses the lead blocker, cuts it up, and is taken down just shy of the 30. The a carry. flag flew in there. A rivalry. It's Graves, who is hit as he approached the 20. Again, a good job, Velon, not letting A huge early season matchup of FCS powers. Play action over the middle, pass is completed, and there he is, Mr. Surehands, Elijah Bell. No deep safety help, Bill reads that, Carter on the same page. The deep post area gets the first down. First and 10 for a &T. It's a reverse, Banks has it. And could not get away from the end who was able to sit and read. It'll bring up second and 11. Play action, Carter on the run. Takes a hit and falls forward to the 41. It'll be a gain of two. Both teams, five out of 10. Third and nine, Carter looking. Throwing and completes the pass to Bell. It'll be enough for the first down. And AT is here this year, could put him on the radar of some NFL scouts. The handoff to Martin up the middle and down to the 43. When you talk about Bell, or, you know, the, the catch moment for his team, yes and no. He's a little ticked off about it, but he's not going to let that bother him. He's going to make plays. Martin on the handoff, nowhere to go. As Lawrence Legrone was pushed into the backfield and Martin ran out of real estate. Legrone, Marcus Hillman, number five, coming up from his strong safety spot in the New Hampshire. A lot of ranked football teams. Carter 
to the air, and a flag comes in. Elijah Bell was harassed by Daniel Reed Bennett. Well, they've been battling the ball. Good group. The draw to Martin, able to secure the football, and is tripped up at the 26. Did you see that, that the, the left arm around? They did a good job with that. Thank you, fellas, ladies. Carter on the play action, throws, and there's no one there as the pressure was. I think he field goal right now. Carter to the air. Throws, and it'll hit the ground as Pride could not hold on, and the chase was on by Tristan Cox. First and 10, with 10.07 to go, tied at 21. McNair, the motion man, takes the handoff, cuts it upfield, has some room to the 35, and is gang tackled, just shot. First and 10 for the Phoenix from the 37. Elon keeps it on the ground. McNair able to hold on to that football. And it came loose, but I believe the whistle blew or was on the ground. Cheek under pressure, steps up and will fall to the ground after gaining about a half a yard. Big third down for Elon. Cheek to the air. Ball is loose on the deck and covered by the Aggies. Haven't seen a call yet. Incomplete. And it'll be incomplete. And That's the smart way to do it though. Let, Let it play the play out. Okay, let's see, just arm move forward. Yeah. He brought the ball down and it was first and 10 for the Aggies. Martin takes the handoff and is stopped after. To run a lot of plays. Elon's defense has been out on the field a lot in the last few minutes. Carter looking downfield, lofts one down the seam, and it will fall incomplete. Carter's pass. Nine for a &T. Carter rolling out, throws on the run, and it's almost intercepted by Shamari Wingard. Just could not wrap his hands around the football. Aggies are very, very lucky. Carter rolling to his left, throws his ball. He may want to think about this one ball, this, this underthrown, trying to throw in the coverage with an angle, and very fortunate for A&T not to be intercepted in the big defensive stand. One Davis Cheek in the gun. Play action, rolls out, fakes, runs, throws. And cannot complete the pass to Avery Jones. And has definitely Certainly come half. to play in the second half. The handoff to Thomas. Still on his feet. And now his forward progress is stopped as he's brought to the ground. Chief drops back, looking under pressure, and he's sacked. And it's a sack. Let's hear it for that Aggie team. Jermaine McDaniel and Devin Harrell combined on that one. Watch those two guys. They said we'll meet at the quarterback. Finish. First and ten for a and Play action. Carter looking downfield. Floats one, and it'll go over Bell. And out of bounds. Banks at the bottom of your screen. He's in motion. The draw. Martin. To midfield and into Elon territory where he's nudged out of bounds by Reed Bennett. This is what seemed to work for a &T earlier in the ball game. The motion, the motion takes a guy out of the box. So you've got them outnumbered blockers versus defenders. Nice call. Nice offensive set there. Good block downfield. You get a good look there at George Simpson, 74, leading the way. Played his high school ball down the road in Charlotte at Mallard Creek. Did Mallard Creek. Sisters. I just heard Mallard Creek. 
Our engineers went to Mallard Creek. Pretty good football school here in North oh, Carolina. Oh, man, this is what you talk about. Carter corrals the wild snap, hands it off to Martin, who is able to gain a yard. Martin again on the carry. Play action, pump fake, the throw down the sideline. Pass is complete. Elijah Bell, the turn and go. And, and you were right, Stan. You had called it early. Carter to find him open in the flat. Elijah Bell up to nine catches on the day. Quarterback keeper. And Carter will slide in safely at the 26. Carter on the keeper. The pitch to Martin. And he's dragged down from behind. Just shy of the line of scrimmage. Little toss sweep action. Marcus Willoughby down to seven. Delayed handoff. Here comes Baker. Nowhere to go. Gain of about three. And the Aggies are inside the 25. Solid tackle. That only a sophomore, the Elon kicker, just so you know, his long of the year, as long a year ago was 46 yards. Cheek. And it's tossed to the turf. Jermaine McDaniel all over him. <laughs> Jermaine McDaniel comes off the mountain. He's in Greensboro, and he's found him a happy space. Gets away from the blocker. And brings down Davis Cheek. Big time play by McDaniel. That was a huge Jermaine play. McDaniel. Makes it second and 20. And see, this changes the whole concept of play calling now for Elon. Cheek dropping back. Dumps it off. He's got McNair, who has his legs taken out from under him by Kyan Howard. Try to screen pass, get this inside there, but watch the effort by number 54. No place to run if you're just Sean McNair. Screen set up, he's got a blocker, gets rid of a blocker, makes the tackle by himself. Sheik will set up in the shotgun, just shy of the goal line. McNair is the single back. Six on the play clock. The handoff. And McNair is stuffed. It'll bring up fourth down. Do you burn your time out right now if you're a &T? And the Aggies will indeed call yeah, timeout. Thank you, dear. We'll see. Carter, dropping back, looking, looking, tucks it, runs it, and is inside the 35, and a and has to hustle. Got no more timeouts. Be smart. They'll spike it and stop the clock with nine seconds to go. Down, should it not? It is. Should be third down. Carter, dropping back, pressure's on, rolls out, looking downfield. Throws one to the corner in the end zone, and it's incomplete. It's out of bounds. It's out of bounds. Banks could not get a foot down, and there's one second showing on the clock. And this should be fourth down. They've got third down on the scoreboard, but if I'm not mistaken, this should be fourth down now, okay? Clearly out of bounds. So we'll have a timeout taken by Elon. <laughs> there is a four showing on the box across the field. This will be a 52-yard field goal. And there's a 52-yard field goal attempt on the way. He can make this. This is a better angle. This is the better angle. Noel Ruiz. He knocks this through. The junior. Snap is down. The kick is on the way. And it is good. A&T wins 24-21. Noel Ruiz, who missed two earlier field goals, 